So thank you for joining this uh, webinar, International Webinar Blue Green Infrastructure Frontiers Ecosystem Services Management and Challenge. I'm uh, Ryo Kosaka and would like to open this uh, webinar now. Um, again, thank you for taking time to join this webinar and the speakers, thank you for joining tonight. And also we have uh, two experts who would be uh, commenting on the, um, on the uh, lectures. The, there'll be three lectures, 40 minutes each, and then it is followed by 30 minutes uh, discussion. The first one is uh, on the urban context, and the second one on more on terrestrial, and the third one will be on European uh, context, but mixed with uh, different elements. Uh, this is a short brief introduction about myself. I had the honor to serve uh, different institutions, including a uh, convention on biological diversity. And uh, Tobias uh, was one of um, my uh, best friend in my time in Germany uh, when I, we did PhD together. Um, today, uh, we would like to think about the linkages of this blue-green part, um, which usually are split with different disciplines and different sectors. Um, concept of green, blue, or blue-green infrastructure has yet to be generally understood. Um, now, the green infrastructure as a term is gaining salience in Japan, um, both by Ministry of Environment and um, by infrastructure related uh, ministries. Um, and also urban green infrastructure is now um, gaining a lot of attention, which I think uh, our first speaker would uh, focus on. And their um, definition uh, by the Japanese um, academies, associations, and uh, governmental organizations. I think uh, one of the key points in these definitions are the uh, functions, uh, multifunctionality or uh, functionality that um, are not single, um, such as um, constructed uh, infrastructure tend to serve. Um, so these are the one of the characteristics I think in generally for the green this in the discussion for green infrastructure. Um, the European uh, definition emphasizes more on the um, location strategically planned network type of thing, and also the term biodiversity appears in this their definitions. Uh, one of the um, uh, reason or the point where we started these uh, green infrastructure discussions were the earthquake and following tsunami and uh, um, radiation related accidents uh, back in 2011 March uh, the these were the came as a shock, of course, as to the Japanese public, um, and we, I think, uh, nationally uh, um, started to question um, the functioning and and the role of infrastructure, infrastructure, as well as the human networks that are necessary um, in these. Uh, kind of extreme conditions. So this is one of the, the a, um, famous sort of summary that are used in the academic, um, Japanese Academy of Science, as well as uh, I think paper um, written by an economist um, that, um, performing a function in, in the artificial, in these artificial um, infrastructure is, has certain advantages and these uh, 
eco more ecologically oriented or what is called eco drr uh has um maybe advantages in their maintenance uh reduction of environmental costs and their multi uh, functionality so to speak this is a very general uh descriptions and of course the artificial uh, infrastructure has their own advantages that we have a lot of experiences in data sets so the eco drr or ecological infrastructures are not there to sort of suddenly replace all the artificial infrastructure but uh to complement and to uh expand our scope of discussions so these are the trends uh which i will not go into detail but uh, the japanese society of science uh the japanese academy uh sort of uh initiated these discussions and there are also governmental bodies as well as a experts panel that discuss these issues also uh depopulization is one of the uh, key challenges in the on in the current Jap japanese uh rural societies and uh people are starting to think how they can think about using these uh, or prioritizing these um, different lands uh, or whether to convert them or to uh, maintain them with less labor or to concentrate them so that they can focus on more productive lands and lands those, those lands that can be left to nature so to speak, so that they, they would require less maintenance. And these could be done uh, with the support of data sets and evidence. Uh, that's one of the projects that we are working on right now in a very rural area in Japan, uh, south of uh, Tokyo. So these are the key questions that we would like to ask during the seminar. What are the progress, uh, current practices, ecosystem services and function management and policies and challenges? Um, fairly general, but uh, we would like to follow up these after the three uh, presentations and uh, comments from the two experts.